In the air, wide of Boone, and that's four. I tell you what, when this guy gets going, he really does hit it. Boone had no chance to move there. That ball wasn't far away from him. And again, through the gap. Lovely shot again by Shrikant. Down to the fence, the outfield is quick, it's four. And that's the end of Shastri. Rifle has his first wicket for Australia. A good delivery, Shastri beaten all ends up. He's gone for 22, and India are one for 52. First pair of twins this century to represent Australia in Test cricket. Brilliant catch. Superbly taken by David Boone. That's well struck. Lofted it over mid-wicket. Chase here for Moody. That's good running. Get back for the extra one while Tom Moody was on the ground. He knew that he'd have to uh, get up and take a couple of paces to make the throw. Once again, you see a lot of wrist work in that shot. And that's where he generates all the power from. And it comes from the, the bat speed that he generates uh, with the wrist work. Good work by Tom Moody to drag it back. Rifle strikes again. His second wicket. Paul Rifle having a dream debut for Australia. Shrikant goes, and so does the stump. I'd feel set there at the moment. We well, smashed that for the boundary for four. Beautiful shot by Tenduka. Just short, just outside off stump. And all the Indians that have come to the ground today really did enjoy that one. Even the tight field is uh, not proof against the short pitcher outside off stump. Taken in the gully by Jeffrey Marsh. The leg cutter working for Tom Moody. And so the fourth wicket is down for India. not being able to make his ground. Four for 129. He's got this one though. Over the head of Steve War and into the advertising boards for four. Peter Taylor not very happy that Steve War is not right on the boundary. Nothing worse for a bowler than seeing the ball land between an outfielder and the boundary. And this is exactly what happens here as Radin gets a much better contact on that one. Straight over War's head. Oh, he's missed. No, he's hit this time. Bad luck on Kapaldev. He lost his footing. He might just have got back. Ian Healy had a similar throw to try and run out Richie Richardson and missed up at the Gabba on Sunday. This time, he didn't make any mistake. Apple Dev was looking for the single, as Rudin not responding, and then the feet going out from under him. Ian Healy, as he could have done on Sunday, really could have run in, taken the bails off. So uh, Kapil Dev has hurt an elbow as he's gone down. India now six for 150. Kapil Dev. He's gone this time. Completely mistimed it. And Alan Border doesn't make mistakes in that position. A good low catch, but by Alan Border standards, regulation. And Nice lift, genuine pace. That's the end of Pandit. India once again on the ropes. 
Whitney's right, he's got one, he's gone, straight back. Regulation catch. India collapsing like a pack of cards at the Sydney Cricket Ground. It's well struck, just lofted down straight. That's four, that's a good clean hit. I'm Stephen War. Knock him over, that's it. All out for 175. Steve Wall breaks through, good link. Took the middle stump. A wonderful performance by the Australian team after India away to a great start. No wicket for 52, and then pressure was applied by Paul Rifle on Dubu, not getting the first two wickets. And in the end, the pressure told as that ball takes middle stump, and there goes stump vision. Clean bowled by Stephen Moore. Straight onto the stumps. Rebaka has struck Jeff Marsh, has gone inside edge back onto the stumps. Ball cut back. Good shot. Got a forward short leg there. The Indians taking the attitude they've got to get wickets to win this match. Good shot. Four. David Boone loves him out there. So does Tendulka. He should know better. Oh, tremendous shot. Full toss there. Smash through extra cover for four. India don't need this. Nine runs off the over. One for 42. Dropped it. Difficult catch, but he's a tall man. And he might just have got his hands up. But it really went very quickly. Moody is hitting this ball well now. Magnificent straight drive. You can't want a straight drive played with more authority than that. Ravi Shastri. Whip that away down through square leg. an illusion an illusion but it looked uh, almost as if the fielder at square leg ducked to leave but mainly relies on the orthodox spin but that inside out deliberately going inside the ball to give himself room and uh, the indians quite haven't got the slide as perfected as the australians have done and it goes it's down the ground and well, he might have had the boundary as a consideration behind him. Ravi Shastri going back and getting the right hand to it. But he seemed very hesitant indeed as he went for the catch. Yes, he had to run back. Probably had uh, the side screen uh, at the back of his mind. That shot by Tom Moody, yet another boundary, means that this is the highest partnership now for the second wicket in a one-day international for Australia against India. Previous highest was in the 1983 World Cup between Trevor, Trevor Chappell and uh, Kim Hughes. Nottingham. And that's through as well, so things are really rattling along for Australia victory now within touching distance 14 runs off the over so far a fine shot that because the gap between uh, short extra cover and extra covers was very narrow and it picked it to perfection that's it Australia have won a resounding victory by nine wickets. They were assured their place in the finals in any case, but they go into the finals with the most one-sided result of the competition. That gives them five victories in their eight matches in the qualifying round against two defeats, one each by India and the West Indies.
and that abandoned game because of the weather against the West Indies at the MCG. So Australia, who have been in the finals of every one of the World Series tournaments, with the exception of the first, place themselves in those finals once more. So another